you stole your spot at Harvard. I don't think that's quite how it works. Hi, I'm Dylan Marin, and this is Stealing Jobs with Undocumented Immigrants. I am here today with Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Hi, How are you? I'm hanging in there. How are yes, you? Yes, I'm good. So, Rosa, not to brag, you're a student at Harvard. Yeah. And according to some people, you have stolen that position. I'm not quite sure that's how it works. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> well, walk me through how it works. My, like, Harvard path started in fifth grade. Yeah. Obama appointed Sonata Mayo to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh my god, this is the first time that I get to, like, read a name and hear a name that, like, rolls off of my tongue. Uh -huh. I want to be like her, like I, I want to do that. And so then I kind of was just like, okay, well then she went to Yale and he went to Harvard, uh -huh. Obama went to Harvard. They're both Ivy League schools, but like, you know, which one do I want to go to? And then my teacher had decked out the classroom and like Harvard right. stuff because she loved Harvard. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm going to go to Harvard. My like political nerdiness continued mm -hmm. into middle school where I started reading like Supreme Court opinions. But, like, Just for oh, the record, I need you to know I was reading like People Magazine and, and my challenge was doing the People Magazine the, crossword the, puzzle. Um, so Rosa, you're a nerd. I'm like a total nerd. Yeah. Like, not even kidding. Like, if you just hand me Supreme Court, like, book, I would, like, of cases, I'd be like, oh my God, yeah. So They're that's like... your fun Friday night? Pretty much. So, Rosa, what do you say to people who say that you stole your spot at Harvard? Harvard gets, like, I want to say, like, 30,000 applications a year. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. It's, mm -hmm. like, 5,000 early and then And 25. you snuck into the office and you and I just, shredded I just, a bunch of them and you just put yours in the front. That's exactly what I did. There's yeah. a pile of them and I was like, nope, not this one, yeah. not this one, mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Harvard gets all these applications yeah. and about 80% of them will have the scores and the grades to get in. And so I think that if Harvard, if Harvard hadn't wanted, wanted to accept me, if they had wanted to accept someone else, yeah. then they would have. Yeah. They decided that I had a value in their class. And yeah. so I don't think I stole it. I don't think I stole anyone's spot. I think that spot was mine to begin with. What is the path now to getting something like a summer job or stealing a summer job? Stealing a summer job. <laughs> How are you going to steal a summer job? You know, I wish I would. I was able to steal a summer job. Like that would be so much easier. Like if I could just walk up and like a, like a little kid was holding like a lot of mm -hmm. summer job and I could just like grab it. Snatched it. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, that's not quite how it works. <laughs> um, so because I'm undocumented um, without DACA, I can't work in this country. Um, and a lot of internships, especially in Boston, there's a law against like unpaid internships. And so those internships have a salary, which mm -hmm. means that I don't have a social security number, which means that I can't work at them. Um, so really all of my summer opportunities are kind of revolving around like fellowships mm -hmm. run through schools because that way they can give me scholarship money. Mm -hmm. But I could never like go to DC and be like, I want to intern for my representative because yeah. you have to be a US citizen to do that. Right. So you're saying it's not easy to get a job. <laughs> I mean, it's it's practically impossible. Like, yeah. And really the only reason why I'm able to like get fellowships and stuff is because I'm a student at Harvard. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, what is DACA? So DACA is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Mm -hmm. um, it is pretty much this policy that Obama put in place in 2012 that says that if you have been here continuously from 2008 um, and just like have been here and you arrived here before you were 16 uh, and you were under 31 years old by the time it was announced in 2012, then you would be able to pretty much get like a a permit to like be in the country. Right. So it's pretty much like deferring deportation. Yeah. Um, and then with that, you could also be able to work. Mm -hmm. So like you wouldn't get any benefits. Like no one in DACA gets social security. No one gets like <laughs> Medicaid. No one gets Medicare. Uh -huh. I want to make that clear. Uh -huh. We They do pay into it though. Yeah. So like people who work with DACA still have to pay into right. all of those little tax things. Yeah. And you don't have DACA. And I don't. Do you feel safe saying that out loud? Um, I think it was a process. I think at the beginning I didn't, but now I do. It, and it has a lot to do with the privilege that I hold because I go to Harvard. Mm -hmm. And I think that because I have the backing of this institution, I'm in a much more privileged place to come out and say like, hey, we are here, we mm -hmm. exist, and mm -hmm. we're not really going anywhere.